How's it going YouTube? Right, so I wanted to explain how I went about doing um, the, the edging on my rear lights. Um, as quite a few people have asked. Step-by-step uh, -step process. So first in the process, if you want to do this properly, you need to buy yourself a roll of, I think it's like closed close sound seal foam or something like that. You can buy it on um, Amazon. To replace your seals in your rear lights. Uh, if you've never done this yet, something to definitely do um, as they're getting old. It's one of the main uh, places for boot leaks on the FN2, so two birds, one stone. Uh, what I did with mine, if you buy the roll, this is, I want to save yourself a hell of a lot of money. Uh, you can, bear in mind, you can buy the pre cut seals from uh, Honda, which cost about 90 quid for some pre-cut sheets of foam. So who's gonna do that? Nobody. Uh, so if you buy the roll, the roll's about a tenner off Amazon. Uh, peel your old seals off gently. Uh, and then what I did was uh, I literally stuck them in my in my printer uh, on the uh, on the scanner, scanned, printed them out. I then laminated my seals. So now I have, the seven in total, I have a full set of stencils which I then used on the foam to cut myself a new set of seals out now I've used slightly thicker foam than the, what the uh, manufacturers use and uh, yeah upgraded better so that's first off now I'm going to I'm going to inject uh, images obviously into this video so uh, if I stop and pause I'm just showing you what it was because this is a talk through I didn't video myself while I was doing it um, but yeah so initially uh, you open your boot helps uh the boot trim itself the big black uh, trim on the top there's two phillips screws in each of the the the, uh, the grab handles on the inside you pop those out and then the entire thing you'll be able to peel it off from around the edge and pull the whole thing off there's about a dozen or so uh, push fit clips and that is it that's all that holds that on off now, uh, the light units themselves, the two outer ones have these little dust cover boot things on them. So you, you pull those off and that exposes two eight mils. You take the eight mils out, bam, bam, and um, yep, you, the light units pull off. You then unscrew the bulb holders from the back. I left the bulbs in, uh, left the bulb holders on the car, just so there was none of that unplugging. What nonsense, just literally unscrewed things. Right, and you two, uh, as for your middle three, you have to take the outer ones off first. You can't do the middle one first. You've got to take the two outer ones off first. And there's three 8mm bolts in the back. Because now you've taken the shield off the inside, you can now get at the 8mm bolts. So there's three on each of... I've got one here. This is a spare one that I was playing with. So there's three 8mm bolts on these. One, two, three. You see, I've left the bulb holder uh, in this one. That's not how I do it on the car. I left that on the car in the actual plug instead of uh, removing the plugs, but yeah. Uh, basically then, you can remove these. Now, the middle guy, he's got uh, several plugs in there, several bulbs along the uh, along the stretch, and there's a plug. You do have to remove that middle plug because that's for the uh, for this switch for the, um, uh, the release of the, the tailgate. So don't shut your boot whatever you do once you've unplugged that because you're not going to be able to get it open again you're going to have a bad time don't do that right so you can pull it down semi closed to then remove the big light units off once you've got them off great that is that There's two ways of doing this so with this one as you can see here it's got edges on it a lot this was what i was, I was playing around with some vinyl tape with this one which works great, yeah. It looks looks great from afar, but I don't like these little joints. I don't like these little joints, and uh, with pressure washing my car all the time, I didn't know how long this was going to last. Um, and also on this light unit, you can sort of see. Uh, I don't know if this will show here, but like the corrosion on the edges, and if you can see how bumpily that is through the. Uh, it's hard to see but it's like uh, it's, it's horrible and bumply where the corrosion is on the edges and that's a common thing with the fm2s so mine was just starting to go like that 
Rob Tufta car, still going like that. So once the light units were off, uh, I got some uh, 2,500 grit wet and dry, and I smoothed the edges off. Smooth all, all, all of that um, corrosion, if you like, smoothed all of that off, so it's nice. On the edge, just the edges, just the edges. Don't go in the middle, just do the edges. Then what I did, dried them all off, and I uh, masked, so uh, using masking tape, stuck it on the lengths. So what I did was uh, I did the lengths first, and then I did up and down, just to cover the, cover the ass. And uh, when you overlap uh, where you need to be painting, I got a razor blade and I sliced it, so just the edge of the light unit was exposed. The entire face was masked, which, I'll show some images now. So, once you've done that, so you've smoothed it off with your uh, your wet and dry. You've got you've back that corrosion off, so it's flat, shall we say? Uh, you've then mask your mask your lens up. Uh, you can then go ahead and use your uh, your tinting lacquer. So I bought uh, an E-Tech tinting lac lacquer, which is essentially uh, a smoke spray if you like, for rear light units. All it is is tinted lacquer. I gave them three coats before I ran out of stuff because the E-Tech stuff's only a little tiny tin, tiny tin, but I didn't need that much. So yeah, sprayed them up. Uh, I left them to dry. And in the meantime, I, uh, I cut all my seals out for the back. Now, this works, by the way. If anybody wants to do this, it works. And I'm actually lending these out to a mate who, um, who's going to do his as well. But yeah, this works. Uh, right, and then after that, and so you've um, you've allowed your lacquer to dry. You've got your nice edging around the edge. You've removed all the mask. You'll feel then that you've got a slight sort of, sort of lip where, you're, uh, where you've smoked and lacquered. Now that may be an issue down the line with it, uh, with it peeling off whatever so what i then did was got some um, medium compound only by hand and i just gave them all a nice smoothing off not to go too hard and where you've lacquered but just to smooth the edges down um just for long longevity if you like and also to uh polish this because these these scratch they get marked i mean if you can, i don't know if you can see this guy but yeah look at that a scratch that is that was similar to how mine were but now they're absolutely absolutely spick and span lovely and smooth and then i used a three-year ceramic coating on it so that's a that's a proper ceramic coating comes in a little tiny bottle you apply it to a sponge or an applicator you smear it on you wait for it to flash off and by flashing off it turns like rainbowy and then you literally just buff it off and that's it ceramic coating done easy peasy uh, then it's just a case of refitting the lights and uh, there you go, bang bang boom, all done. Uh, everything then is, uh, that's it, easy as that. That's how I spent my Saturday morning. Cheers guys.